All right, moment of truth. We're playing some some uh, super. So the setup process was super easy. It's just like the Raspberry Pi if you've ever set one up. I went over to the Orange Pi website. I clicked on the device I got, the Orange Pi 5, went ahead to the downloads and downloaded the correct image for it. This is an Ubuntu-based image for the Orange Pi 5 that it recommended. Um, so I downloaded that, popped it onto the flash drive. I actually use the Raspberry Pi imager, funny enough, to image the uh, SD card because I figure, you know, I mean, when in Rome, right? Without further ado, let's go ahead and get some of this stuff set up. So we're not connected to Wi-Fi. We need to get that done first. Do we have a... Should be a Wi-Fi card in this, right? Should have a... Let's check it out. All right, so let's run an if config and see what we're working with here. Oh, okay, so this does not have a Wi-Fi interface. My mistake. All right, so we are Ethernet only. I did not realize that. Maybe I should either install a Wi-Fi card in there, or I guess I could get an Ethernet drop going in here, but that might take me a few minutes. All right. Okay, so thank God the Nick is working. Oh yeah, so let me tell you a little bit why I was nervous about um, plugging in Ethernet and hoping it would work and hoping it had a Wi-Fi card in it. Because earlier when I was setting it up, I was plugging in the uh, keyboard and mouse and the um, the little, I guess, hubs or enclosures for them um, look very similar and look similar to the Raspberry Pis when um, the Ethernet ports were stacked on top of each other. There's that kind of silver um, silver dome. So I just kind of reached over and plugged it in. Epic mistake. Everybody's made it. And they plugged the USB into the Ethernet port. And I was like, oh, God, did I, did I bend any pins on the Ethernet interface and just destroy the NIC? So I was super, um, I was super nervous about that, but it looks like it's working now. Let's see, do we got an IP? And we have a beautiful 192.168.2. This is a VLAN on my network that has nothing else on it. I would put something like this, a new device that I don't know too much about, is I would put it on this DA, this two dot network. Um, but super excited that we have internet now. So first off, I'm gonna do a sudo update, no sudo try to do this from memory apt update apt update and upgrade right that's right right okay sudo apt update oh wait what's the default password no root password on here Let's just try pi. Let's try orange pi. Oh, okay. Orange pi is the root password. So we figured it out. I figured I'd get the password. I'm somewhat of a hackle myself. Um, okay, so let's change that to upgrade. Get all of our software up to date. Let's get some software on it, I guess, right? I mean, I don't even know what to do first. So excited though, I hope this works. I wanna try something a little bit easier that I'm more familiar with like RetroPie. I wanted to try something a little bit easier, little bit easier. All right, moment of truth. We're playing some some uh, super. I log into the site. I'll, I go into the to the Orange Pie site. They um, they list their downloads. They list their downloads for each of their products. So they have the 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 Pi, the Orange Pie 800, the Orange Pie 4, Orange Pie 3, Orange Pie whatever. So they've got all their products listed out. You click on them and you download the uh, the image that you want for that uh, for that particular piece of hardware. So, um, so the first thing I did when I went up to, um, uh, when I went up to the site, the first thing I did is I just loaded up the uh, Orange Pi 5 image. There was a couple images. I mean, it, this, this links to the uh, Google Drive. So this is what we're dealing with. So, um, so the image isn't actually hosted on their own website. It's hosted on their Google Drive. But, uh, but yeah, I, I, I kind of saw where, uh, where this was going. So I downloaded the image on the, um, on the Google Drive and they were, lack, for lack of a better word, they were complete dog water bullshit. I need to find a better image for this thing because the image on their site literally, like, I won't say it doesn't support the, the, the chip because 
I, I can't I can't exactly say what was wrong because I didn't dig that too deep. I didn't dig that deep into it. But um, but when I loaded it up and I tried to just load um, RetroPie, like I installed RetroPie, I installed all of the additional assets that RetroPie has. And if you ever installed RetroPie and installed all of the additional like libraries and packages and emulators and stuff, it takes hours to do on like a decent connection. It takes hours to download all that content. Um, so I was just I was gonna make sure I had everything downloaded from the uh, from the RetroPie site. So I, um, so I got the full image downloaded on it, and then I went, I went to go load uh, RetroPie, and it gives me this white screen that just basically says, like, no driver detected, and it lists the literal chip that's in it, the rock chip. It's like no drivers, rock chip, and the, the model number. And I'm like, okay, well, that's probably expected, right? Like, RetroPie doesn't know this processor, so it's throwing this error. It probably only knows these Raspberry Pi processors, so it's not going to run on anything that's not a Raspberry Pi, you know, you know, like a um, like a piece of a piece of software does a hardware check. It does a uh, does a uh, does a software check, and it tells you if you can run the software. Now I thought that's what's happening. Like Windows, if anyone's ever installed Windows 11, um, it told me my PC didn't meet the system requirements. I got a 3080 and an eight core AMD like last gen processor, and I, I was like, okay, well, what do I need? I had an SSD. Like I'm like, what do I need to run this? How's my computer not good enough? But uh, but yeah, I thought that was the case. I was like, okay, well maybe. The RetroPie software just doesn't know what this this chip is, so I was like, okay, well, well, maybe I just have to scrap it and just do a new video and just don't try to even attempt to play a game on this thing yet because it's just not ready. I went to Reddit, got to the Orange Pie subreddit, went from the Orange Pie subreddit to the Orange Pie Discord. In the Orange Pie Discord, I kind of just scrolled around and searched and looked look to see was anybody like playing retro games I, I did i looked to see was anybody playing retro games or was emulating at all i didn't see really anything but I, at that point i was just wanted an os that supported the the chip i was like i just need an os that that doesn't error out when i try to run something and telling me that it doesn't have drivers for the chip uh from the manufacturer's website i'm like my mind's blown here i'm like how is this the thing like what is happening here so i go to github and i find an image for it well this is probably better than what uh, they have on their own site so i'm gonna try it out so i i, I slap the os on from the uh, from the github page boots up um log in you know do do the usernames connected to wi-fi or uh, actually no, i don't connect to wi-fi connect to the ethernet i, I do my thing i log in and uh i just try and install RetroPie again same exact way just i didn't do the full install just a basic install so i slap RetroPie on it i tried to load a a ripped rom from a cartridge that i have and and it loaded and I, I like i was like oh oh my god like it's, it's actually gonna work and um it, it, i mean it was slow as but it was like buggy buggy and laggy looking it didn't it ran like complete garbage but that wasn't that wasn't my goal my goal was to see could i emulate a game on this thing and and i could and and i was happy and i i, I wasn't happy that it ran like crap but i, I was happy uh, that just means that we're further along than we thought like i'm we're further along than i thought i guess i should say maybe some people expected this thing to have a fully kitted os ready to go fresh out the box soon as you load it up and that's not quite the case so i i i want to make this video to uh to taper expectations for people getting their orange pi fives if you're a fan of just bleeding edge uh, hardware and software and want to get into just the open source world in general, you can really just kind of get on GitHub, get on get on Reddit, get on Discord and just watch this thing evolve. Watch this software evolve. Watch as they come out with new builds, track the builds, put notifications on for GitHub, put notifications on for Reddit, put notifications on for Discord and literally just watch this thing grow because I feel like it's going to be an amazing thing to uh, to people that are new to open source to watch something at its kind of birth and just kind of watch it grow from from literally nothing and um and i, I think that's just a cool thing uh for for anybody that's into uh, into technology and into open source specifically um so if you're making the jump from raspberry pi to orange pi i just want you to taper your expectations um realize that this is this is a different different beast you, this is not um the raspberry pi where everybody knows it everybody supports it uh, everybody's kumbaya holding hands. We love Raspberry Pi. We all we all develop for it. We all know it. it's been around, you know, forever. Um, this is this is different. It's it's different.